Hello guys, today I've got another pistonless counter. This one can subtract as well, so it's a lot um, it's a lot better. It uses the um, locking repeaters to do the subtraction mechanism. Uh, first three blocks this way, so first three blocks from here are the adding and then the next four blocks backwards are subtracting and outputs are you can take from here if you want the outputs to automatically be inverted you take them from the bottom and you can also take outputs from the front if you so wish um, here's the adding there you go it just adds one and subtracting takes them away pretty quick basically what's going on here is the um, adding mechanism is the same as my last video sort of it's a little bit of a smaller design but you can still find it there um, what's going on really okay so you've seen the adding mechanism but the subtracting mechanism is here basically what's happening is when this is say this um, all these ones that are off at the moment are how many are actually on so one two three four five so there's five on basically this will then turn um, this one on bring this up here so that's why this lights on but that then locks this repeater so then if you send a signal through here it can't get any further than that turning any of these on but because this one's off it will leave this repeater off and then it can then send a signal down here subtracting one as hopefully you'll be able to see from this and then that just because that one will turn off it will then remove that locking repeater as well so it's a really good use for the locking repeater uh, it's also really easy to build. I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, to start with start off the building, you're going to put a block every other one, like so. And this can be as long as you want it by you're going to make it in ten. Then you're going to want to put a repeater in between each of these. Leave them on one tick. Put a torch on the front of each of these. Block on top of each of the torches with a torch on the back of each of that block that you've put just put on. And then you're going to want to put a block on the front of each of these, just on the floor. And you put a piece of redstone dust on top of each of them blocks. Build up one on each of these, the back one and then drag that all the way, all the way along. I'm going to put a torch on the front of each of these ones here on the top block and a round repeaters facing this way all on two ticks however sometimes it doesn't work and adds two when it's on two ticks so just make it three ticks if it's if you've got that problem. Now just put a piece of redstone in each of these. And you're going to have to make this one down here, make a pulse limiter down here for each of these. For this one. And this one needs to be by default on, so you just do it like this. Put a repeater into this block. Like that. And then just put a button there. Put this to four ticks. And then to reset the whole thing, you just put a button here. There you go, there's it resetting. And if it's working properly, it'll add one. And as you can see, it's added one, but sometimes it adds two if your repeaters are on the wrong setting, so make sure they're either on two or on three if it's adding two. So there you go. And then, so that's just the adding the adding bit. Now to do the subtracting part, I'm going to build a block back on each of these. Put a piece of redstone dust on top of all of them with a torch on the side of each of these put one piece of redstone dust backwards and then go put a block here and then a block up then you're going to put a torch on the back of each of these and on top so like that Oh, 
And then you're going to put a block on top of each of these. Now you're going to build the the, um, the repeater locks. You're doing this, you don't need to do this for the last one because the last one won't um, won't actually have any effect if you do this on it. And now you're going to put like this, build all the way back from here. Now out of each of these ones, you're going to put a repeater. Leave them all on one tick again. Now you're going to put in the locks. So just make these repeaters face to here again on one tick, just leave them. Now you're going to put a piece of redstone in between each of these with a another block here and these are all going to have repeaters on them facing into the into this way because otherwise um, the signal will go into there and it will ruin it so you need to make sure it's like this so look, if, um, if I, these are basically diodes, because if I took this one out and then replaced that with a piece of redstone, it would turn off all of them. So you need to make sure these are on with the repeaters. And then the signal for the subtraction one is just going to go into here. So you, I'm just going to build these this one in line. And this one's going to be by default off. So you just do this. Put a torch up here. Torch here. Build a block down. Put a piece of redstone here, a piece of redstone there. Put it going into this one, four ticks. Redstone like that. Put your button on. And there you should have your subtract, so I'll just add a few. Just to show you how it works. And now when I subtract, there you go, taking one off. Takes another one off, and this obviously goes all the way down to zero. Okay, now that that is it. You're done. You just take your outputs either out from the front, so you can take them out from here, or you can take them out from any of here. So you can take them out from there all the way down to here. And if you want the um, by default the outputs to be inverted, you can just take them out from the very bottom. So yeah, there's plenty of outputs. Very simple to build and is infinitely expandable. So you can make it. I've made one that's 30 just to test it, and it works perfectly fine with 30. So yeah, please leave a like if you found this useful and yeah, it really helped. Thank you.